Hello everyone. Hay fever season. Tissue company share price is going up. Pop, but no biscuits today. It's disgusting. I'm going to have a word of management again. Just before we carry on with the video, everyone, I just want to say a huge hello to all our new viewers that may be watching this as the first video of the Live for Travel channel. My name is Paul, and I make up one of four. There is Fran, my wife, Oliver, my son, and Alice, my daughter. And together, we upload regular videos, everything to do with motorhomes, whether it be tips and hints, or campsite reviews, and everything in between. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, why not consider subscribing to the channel? It's completely free to subscribe. You can scan the QR code that's above my head now with a smartphone or tablet, or just look for a link at the end of the video. But either way, we value your support. Thank you very much. If you have a Fiat Ducato and it has these buttons, what do they mean? What do they do? Well, we'll start with Traction Plus. Traction Plus is this button. I'll keep the image on screen now. What Traction Plus does is, well, it's basically a traction control system. Now, most modern vehicles have traction control, but normally this is enabled automatically, and there's typically a button somewhere on the dashboard to disable it, should you need to. But with the Fiat Ducato, it's the opposite way around, so if you actually do require extra traction, for instance, you're on a muddy campsite and all you're getting is wheel spin, then you need to press Traction Plus. This will basically send power to only the wheel that's actually got traction and it should in most conditions help get out of trouble however there are limitations of course to traction plus and maybe just because i'm old i don't know but there are times particularly on ice where traction control systems can actually be more problematic and you may not actually be moving much at all so in that scenario i personally would disable traction control or in the fiat Ducato not turn it on and rely on the good old-fashioned right foot to sort out trying to get the van moving again but that is traction plus the next one we have is a hill descent system or hill descent control even that's this button i'll keep it on screen now now when i think about hill descent control i remember back to i guess it was the 90s with the launch of the first land rover freelander they had hill descent control and they might have even designed the system so hill descent control in the Land Rover, and it's not dissimilar to what's on the Fiat Ducato, everyone. Basically, when you enable the system, it keeps control of the vehicle at slow speeds. Now, that's an important point that we'll touch on in a second. I'm thinking of a typical application for a motor, maybe you're on a campsite field. Maybe there's quite a slope. Maybe it's been chucking it down the rain. Maybe it just looks really daunting trying to get the motor home down that or camper van down that slope where well, you can enable hill descent control and it should, with the aid of computers of course, help you navigate that slope. How does the system work? Well, it effectively can break any individual wheel for, well, as short or as long a period as it needs, depending on where the traction is. So when once a wheel starts to lose grip, it will release the brake momentarily on that wheel. Now, by doing so should mean that if you're steering straight, although, of course, you can turn the wheel while the system is active, but let's say you're steering straight down a muddy field, it will help maintain the position of the vehicle, whereas maybe if you started to skid, the vehicle might slide one way or the other. The system should keep you going quite straight and true. Now, there is a good point to mention about hill descent control, everyone. I've read a few posts where people have been saying, well, it doesn't work or... Should I use it on a steep hill on a normal road? No, that is not what hill descent control was designed for. In fact, the system will not function unless the van is going lower than 15 miles per hour. So, yes, you can still apply... Uh, I'll do that again. Yes, you can still apply the brake while the system is on. Yes, you can press the accelerator while the system is on. And, of course, you can turn the steering wheel, as we've already said, if the system is on. However, whilst you're pressing the brake yourself, the system will not be functioning. And whilst you press the accelerator, the system will not be functioning. But if it's armed, if, if the button is pressed in, it will function when it's below 15 miles an hour and you're not pressing the brake pedal and you're not touching the accelerator pedal. Basically, you leave your feet off the pedals and you let the system do the work. That's it for this short video, everyone. We hope you found that informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should watch it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, there'll be a link just above my head in a moment. Why not click it? It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, but we value your support. See you soon.